I'm Christina Loren. Democratic presidential candidates were in the Midwest over the weekend, meeting with voters, surveying flood damage, and explaining their visions for rural America. RFD TV's Sarah Mock joins us from our D.C. studios with more on the Heartland Forum. Sarah? Well, good morning, Christina. We did see at this Saturday event in Storm Lake, Iowa, a number of candidates. Of course, there was kind of the big names so far. Those are sitting senators Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota, actually. But there were also a couple of kind of lesser known candidates there who really kind of made a big splash, especially among the folks there. One of them was, of course, former Maryland Congressman John Delaney. And he announced uh, or talked a little bit about a recent announcement of his Heartland Fair deal, which is kind of this big sweeping proposal of, of of changes uh, and opportunities that he wants to create in rural America, including uh, a, a big health care component that includes a focus on veterans, a, a huge infrastructure plan that includes a trillion dollars with major carve outs for rural. But really, the crux of his idea is uh, based around making investments in rural entrepreneurs and communities. Well, so a big centerpiece of my heartland fair deal is to actually do things to make sure capital is flowing to rural America, because that's really what's happened to rural America in the last several decades, in my judgment. Capital has left this region. That doesn't mean people don't invest here, they do. But the owners of that capital are often not located here anymore like they used to be. So the returns on those investments don't get invested in these communities, in good wages and other things these communities need. So investment was a major focus of his comments, but it came back to bite him just a little bit. He got a challenging question about his support of reform to the Dodd-Frank bill, which is, of course, that those protections put in place after the 2018 housing collapse uh, and, and kind of problems in the in the financial markets. He really kind of turned that around and talked about, you know, he he's not looking for reforms for big banks. He's looking for reforms for community lenders. One of the big problems he sees in rural America is kind of the hollowing out of the small and mid-sized banking system. You know, he talked about some other key democratic issues. He said he called Medicare for all good economics, talking about how it unshackles workers and potential entrepreneurs from, from jobs, something that farmers are familiar with, you know, farmers who have to have a wife or, or someone else in the family work at a local school district or somewhere where they can get things like health care benefits. That was something that John Delaney talked about as well. Uh, and of course, he talked about his, his kind of bona fides. He's married to the daughter of an Idaho potato farmer who lost his farm in the 1980s. He says he sees the issues in the farm economy now, and he has this big kind of sweeping plan to address it with all of these different components to really drive a very positive message about, about job growth and, and uh, kind of good economics for rural America. And that's what he'll be talking about going forward on the campaign trail. Thank you, Sarah. We'll check back in with our Washington Bureau live.